So another day, another software update released by Apple. Apple is staying on top of their game, releasing new software updates, new bug fixes, and new features. I'm really loving this. Today releasing iOS 15.2 beta one now i called this one just a few days ago i thought it released yesterday but it did release today so i was off by a day and this one brings one major feature that i was looking forward to and we'll get of course to some of the details here in just a few seconds now when i announced this on twitter that apple had launched the software in beta one you guys were asking about the five and a half to six gig of a download keep in mind as i always say guys this software is not going to be removing four to five or six gigs from your iphone this is simply overwriting the entire OS to install the new version of iOS. Keep in mind, this is beta one for iOS 15.2. And as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple updates, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now, aside from iOS 15.2 beta one, Apple did its usual updates to the iPad. So iPad OS 15.2 is now available for iPad users. However, no TV OS. We did get watch OS 8.3 beta one, by the way, which is sort of interesting. Anyway, there's one major feature, as I mentioned, which we'll get to in just a few seconds. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the current bill number for iOS 15.2 beta one so there it is ios 15.2 beta one build number is 19 c 506 i and that's going to be the latest build number for ios 15.2 beta one so what is new with this software as i mentioned one major feature has been added and i was looking forward to this feature for quite some time it is under privacy and if we scroll all the way to the bottom we have app privacy report and here it is the new graphical user interface that i was looking forward to the most as you can see here on the top portion of this particular category this new category here we have data and sensors so for example if i go into the messages here it tells me what was contacted from the messages application right there the messages contacted the contacts application we also have emails here this particular one the contacts as well as you can see the photos obviously the photos and we have fitness so fitness did the contacts as well so let's go ahead and expand upon here and let's take a look at the app store for example so now you can understand at what time the app store access your location how many times it access your contacts how many times your sensors like your cameras your microphone and it also works of course for third-party applications as well now there's also an additional tier for this particular app privacy report we also have as you can see right here the app and network activity so if we head on over into youtube it gives us information on the network activities within YouTube, other websites access or are requested by YouTube, as you can see right there. And then we have a third tier, which is right here, the website and network activities. And this is gonna be for when you're in Safari, browsing, as you can see right there, Mac Rumors, Google.com, PureVPN, Verizon, and Chase Bank. As you can see right there, I can see what websites were contacted, what's happening in the background. I get more detailed information. I don't want to dive into the details. Obviously, there's uh, personal information involved in there, but yeah, you can see everything from sensors that are being accessed. We're also seeing information in terms of what websites are being contacted by which applications. This is a great breakdown of your app activity. And again, you can find that under the privacy and app privacy report. This was a feature that was delayed with iOS 15 and 15.1, and it is finally here. Now, of course, this is just an initial quick look at iOS 15.2. I'm going to continue digging around the software, and I'm hoping for additional features. One feature that I would like for Apple to add is the ability to update your AirPods manually. So as of right now, the AirPods, you can only update them by simply connecting them to a power source and place them next to your iPhone and pair them to your iPhone and hope for the software update to happen. So I'm hoping for Apple to release at least a new feature for AirPods as well, where you can just update your AirPods or check for software updates on your AirPods as well. But nonetheless, I will continue digging around the software. Apple has also released, as I mentioned, iPadOS 15.2, watchOS 8.3 as well, beta 1. So stay tuned for my follow-up video. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.